Young World. So I did a video last night of Pharrell Williams, how they took him into the this DNA thing, the DNA show to find your roots. You know what I'm saying? Showed him his family history. Ended up showing the Joker a picture of the man allegedly who allegedly owned his family. You know what I'm saying? And that was like deep. When I seen it, it was like I said, it did something to me. I was like crazy type stuff. And to see the look on this dude's face, I'm talking about the white man on the picture, you know what I'm saying? He just looked like a maniac, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can just picture him doing all the stuff that you hear about in slavery, all the raping and pillaging and just this stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's how he looked. And then Pharrell seen it, like I said, it fried his brain for a second and broke him down, but this type of stuff leads to more questions because and the, and he, the Joker looked just like the dude, you know what I'm saying? That's the creepy thing about it. Pharrell looked just like the dude. He looked like a black version of the white man that owned his family. So that tells you right there what was going on. If this is all real and this is all true, that tells you what was going on back then and how he became to be and his family became to be because he looked just like this dude. And it's creepy, you know what I'm saying? But it leads to more questions as far as what a foundation of black American is like. Like also like what Dan Calloway be saying too, and Tariq Nasheed. I, I, I know that I know both of them jokers don't get along with it. Like I, I'm not getting into all that. I'm just talking about from like a viewer watching both of them, me looking at both and the, and the information and taking it in. But it leads to more questions and makes you speculate about certain like what's really real. How does stuff really come about? And like it's been said that the slave families, the slave owners keep track. That like a lot of the celebrities and entertainers that are out there are are the are the seeds of the slave owners and the slave because they own them so they can keep bring, making that money up you know what I'm saying put them out here because that's really still their family you know what I'm saying like a lot of stuff is documented it's not a secret you know what I mean about certain people who came from slavery and stuff like that uh, uh, most a, a lot of black people did but there also was black folks here before slavery happened I'm not saying slavery did like I don't believe the actual story I like what Dane Calloway was talking about there's already been treating us to you too there's already was black folks here in America before slavery started and it's a different type of black folk that comes from Africa you know what I'm saying at the end of the day everybody traces back to Africa we know that we're not saying I'm talking about foundational black Americans that was already here on the land from the door you know what I'm saying so and it makes you wonder like is it so like this if this is like is this put together to reinforce the idea of slavery you know what I'm saying and how like because there are, I've seen Dean Calloway put certain information saying that slavery was kind of, not um, not all of it, but some of it was just black people working, you know what I'm saying? Then it got grouped into calling it slavery. And I don't want to quote him because I don't want to say something wrong, but the way they word it, it's parts of the history of slavery are not, are, are exaggerated, I'll say. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying the, all the horror didn't happen and stuff like that, but it's like, exaggerated but is this show stuff like this is this an agenda to push the idea the narrative to keep that thought present in your mind of what their of their interpretation of slavery was you know what i'm saying but if this is actually true and this is that dude that really owned his family it's creepy because the joker looked just like the dude the lips everything the facial structure the shades is like damn it looks crazy and actually we'll see something like that of the person who actually owned the dude it looks it's just it's mind blowing you know what I mean it's really creepy but it appeared to have affected him like I said it could be acting but it looks genuine you know what I mean at least he at least I think he believes it Pharrell does you know what I'm saying so the stuff is crazy man